Here's 12 quick advanced tips in Elden Ring for anyone playing the game. If you've been playing the game since launch, well, don't be surprised if you know every one of these, but maybe you'll see one that you don't know, or you can even test your own knowledge on the game. Anyways, I like to do quick videos with no BS, so if you like quick info that's to the point, leave me a like on this video and consider subscribing to the channel. But anyways, let's begin. First, I'm going to start with something OG Souls fans remember. By default, Kick was never an Ash of War, but just a move you could do with any weapon. But in Elden Ring, it's actually an Ash of War, and one you've probably never tried but that doesn't mean it's worthless since in this game you encounter a lot of enemies with shields and to negate their shields just kick them with the ash of war and you get a free critical hit every single time next is a tip for people who want to learn how to parry better or have already been doing it the buckler shield is the best parry weapon in the game it has its own unique parry the buckler parry that has a longer parry window and as a bonus tip i hear it's easier to stare at the enemy's hand and not the weapon but when it comes to parries i have a skill issue so i couldn't tell you if that works raising arcane isn't something you just do for scaling it directly affects your discovery stat which means if you want better luck on drop rate weapons and armor do anything you can do to upgrade the arcane stat next is a personal tip but one i switched to that i personally like a lot and maybe you will too pull up the pause menu and on the right side go to your pouch and add things like your mount and your summon item with these here it adds so much less clutter to your tool belt and they can be accessed whenever all you have to do is hold y or triangle to pull up this menu the next tip is a little bit more known but builds off the last tip holding down or up on your d-pad will reset straight to the first item that's in those slots so put your crimson tier in the first slot and then hold down to instantly go back to it if you're using a bow build and you want an unlimited supply of poison arrows head to this location on the map and once you're here at this isolated merchant shack this merchant will obviously be selling you unlimited poison arrows so buy as many as you want charging your heavy attack is a good move but an even better move is to do charge cancels use a weapon like the frozen needle and do a heavy attack but then roll to cancel out of the attack if you do it correctly which is very easy to do you'll shoot a projectile out of the weapon while attacking you're also dodging at the same time and with a specific weapon like this one you can get a free range attack that can be used endlessly if you get grabbed spam the left and right bumpers to break free there's not really much more to say about that but i bet other youtubers would find a way to drag that out so i think that deserves a like what do you think okay maybe even a sub while inside dungeons there are traps everywhere and you can use a bow to shoot these down or you can even use market shackle and building off that last tip market shackle is a weird item in this game it has a weird way of revealing hidden walls all around the map this is just because there's a massive aoe of damage all around you so any area you think there's hidden walls use market shackle and this item will uncover all of them shabri's well has virtually zero point when used alone but if you summon a mimic tier in with this talisman on and then you take it off for yourself the boss pays more attention to your mimic tier than does to you this is because it obviously has to bruise well on and you don't and finally lots of items in this game have hidden abilities so in your equipment menu if you hit x or square this will switch displays and show you the description of the item and inside of here if the weapon has a passive ability it will tell you and usually it says it at the bottom but not always so look out for them well anyways that's 12 advanced tips in elden ring i hope this helped you guys out let me know if you found out anything new from this video comment pizza if you made it all the way to this point and if you did thank you so much maybe on your way out you can leave me a like and a sub but other than that i'm out bruh peace